because your show's pierced halfway. <laughs> oh, God. All right, we're recording. Had some technical difficulties there. It's hot. Uh, welcome to episode six. We're here. Um, I don't know where to start. Let me look at my notes. Thanks for watching. Um, we're not doing our cool car bracket this week because we didn't, honestly, I forgot to give everyone that homework. <laughs> And we've just been super busy. So um, episode seven, we'll get back to that. We'll go through the next eight of, uh, we'll do the right side of the bracket and then keep moving. Um, I want to thank our friends for bringing some cool cars. Um, our friend John from CarQuest up the road has this really sweet 95 Impala SS. It has 31,000 miles on it. Um, I think these cars have aged so well, you know, like they don't look, so many cars in the 90s don't, you know they don't age well. Did you sit in it? I sat no. in it earlier. I'm sure outside. it's wonderful. It's, John. I was, it's it's not. You kind of feel like you're sitting in a WT or like a '90 Chevy truck because it has the same HVAC controls and the window switches. Uh, who cares? I told him I said the outside aged so much better than the inside. <clears> I think. Well, I still think it's an awesome car. I still every time I see one, that's a test. It's like when you see one of those, you I cannot help myself from looking at it. I mean, when do the you, entire time I, it's in I my see view. His when he drives it, but. Other than you that, don't you see don't many. Ever see no. I think a true testimony of like when you see a car that you really love is like, do you look up and see if there are some for sale in your area? Yeah, and you and tell your friends. Like the, the yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah. much oh, is it going to cost me? Yeah. Yeah. Is there any around? Forgot there? about that car. Let's see it. <laughs> I, I, to me, it's like if you tell your friends. If I get come to the shop and I'm like, dude, I saw this I sick saw fucking Impala. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, yeah. So I, I don't know. I, it's always I've always loved that car, even though I'm not a Chevy guy. I've always loved that car, and I I congratulate John for keeping it in such good shape. So John's watching what the show rear today. What axle is in those? Is that like a Chevy 7.5? Probably or 10 bolt. 10 bolt? I bet it is a 10 bolt. 10, 10 bolt. So um, another car. So we had another. Weather keeps screwing us. Like literally every Tuesday well, lately, it's been rain, 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 rain. So it's rainforest. just been nonstop. We've had it. I had another car. I don't even want to say what it is yet, but he was supposed to come, but it, it couldn't come in the rain. So I called uh, my buddy Mike at F&I Detailing up the road. I said, hey, like, like literally I called him like an hour ago. I said, do you have, what do you got up there? So he said, well, I got this, um, we're working on this Tesla Model 3, it's brand new Model 3. I said, cool, let's do it. So this is a, so I want to thank him for bringing it and his customer for allowing him to bring it. Um, it's a 2018 Model 3. Um, it's it's this, the second one that came to the area um, in WNC. So I think it's cool. I, I want to play with it a little bit and just like look at all Are the little details. all-wheel drive just, also? Uh, I, I think they're just rear-wheel drive. Stats. I, yeah, yeah I we should have done more. We literally just, real quick. yeah, well, we literally just found out it was coming like not even an hour ago. And we haven't had time, so we've been prepping for the show. Um, no bragging this week. Thanks for watching. Forgot to issue homework. Great. Um, please like the page, <laughs> like us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, so you can follow along. We're getting a lot of good feedback. It's cool that we're getting word, you know, through people, friends of friends, that they're watching the show. I told you when I was um, sitting at that stoplight earlier today in in the shop van, mm -hmm. talking to the. The, the fireman, local, local fire department. And the first thing he said to me was, "Man, I love the show." I was like, "What? Yeah, watch the show? Wait, really? <laughs> yeah." I, I, was, I didn't have any dollars to give. Right I was like, here. "Man, I don't have any money to give you, but I want to shake your hand and appreciate what you do for the community. Thanks for all you do." <clears throat> he says, "I want to tell you that I love your show." I was like, "What? You that's watch nuts. this?" Sweet. So, so, so that was cool. I like that. So I like, that's that cool. one's rear drive. They start building all-wheel drive ones this year with the standard <clears throat> battery. And but also, when I googled this just quickly. Uh, the other headlines are that the production shut down again, and so Mo Tesla is famously behind production on the Model 3. They're only building like <coughs> half as many as they have pre-orders for every month, Yeah. and they're just like really... So that's why this guy was so stoked. Well, why? They're just like, he's like, no, no, because I don't care, all. or they just they can't keep up, It's because it's a new car company, yeah. and they're having to figure out how to do well, it. Well, they're building all of those cars in, the, in, in one plant. And they're cheaper, uh, too. This is like so the, the, the Model S's. Is, yeah, look. 35 before incentives, which means if, you, if your state has an EV tax credit, you could probably get in one for under 30, which is a steal Pretty sweet. for a beautiful car. Yeah, but it's I a conversation know, piece, too. For yeah, sure. It's definitely. And it's, you know, if you live in a city and there's EV, especially if there's EV charging, I'm, in New Belgium, there's EV charging stations. In Sierra, yeah, now you get oh, premium everywhere. parking, too. Yeah. It's worth it. Yeah. Um, I'm buying this so I can park up front. I'm yeah. Shit about the gas. So it's, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to spend more time on stuff like that, <laughs> but. um. Right now we're gonna, we're gonna keep moving I on. I if it's cheaper and faster than your. Uh, I told you I saw that seventy five. Definitely not. Um, I saw the seventy five volt or um, Honda Civic that someone put a Tesla motor in, and it was like zero to not sixty, a hundred in like two point four five seconds. I was like, what? I'm sorry, what? No. 
No way you could get that car to hook up. I'm telling you, man, this little well, thing. Well, he said too, it was rear drive. It was, it was, all it, up. it was There's straight no up way. pooned out, like ready to go. <clears throat> all right, Pull so we're up. gonna we're oh, gonna no, deal no. with some current events. So a couple of things have been happening the last couple of weeks. You know, the huge um, announcement in the, in the car world was that Ford is killing production cars, except That's for the Mustang and the, this this mm, weird like Focus utility. Really? The, it's like a, tall, it's like a Focus Countryman, isn't it's it? It's like the Focus Active or something. It's some kind of hybrid. It's basically like a, 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 a Focus crossover. crossover. So, you know, and there's, so there's a lot of opinions on this. I tend to be a little bit more of an optimist when it comes to companies doing shit like this because I know they're smarter than me and there's a reason for it, <laughs> really good you know? Um, so I'm like, well, there's got to be a reason for it. And, and if you th really think about it, there, there are plenty of good reasons. Like, one, the cars aren't selling. You know, they're, they're not they really selling. Are. They're not. They're not I mean, selling. Everybody crazy. wants a SUV or a crossover SUV, and those are selling. It's just crazy. You can get, you can get an RS, especially right now, for under thirty five, like for thirty five new, like off the lot, and out of, just like Jolly said, crazy. off the off the rip this century, that you could not well, be a better buy. Well, you're not going to get, get that kind of car no. for that kind of money. Brand new it's off a full lot. race car. What is Joe Sixpack going to buy when he goes looking for a Focus, though? What is a base Focus Yeah, nobody cost? wants And that's it. fine, but, they're, well, that's but like, how many do they make? Get, they make? Do they still make escapes? I bet you can get a, an escape Yeah, they'll keep the making those. Price. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. It's like you can get the you mileage is... is more car. For the the mileage is comparable. They get bigger. Everybody wants to be up in a... They, they think they're cool if they're sitting up higher, which we all do, you know? driving position is different. That's personal preference. But interior volume i'm saying if you're buying a sports car something to drive as a driving car you're not going to get more car for the money than you can out of a ford focus rs oh well current year not a not a previous year yeah i'm saying new car going and taking a, a um, you know what i mean what yeah I'm, of course yeah and, and that's the thing it's like well that's one of the articles i read it's like when was the last time you got excited about a, a focus or a fiesta it didn't have an rs or an it st badge like, on it no, you, you know, did you haven't you know. you're like none of no, us like have thought about 90s. it i'm no, always like excited Cosworth. about going to yeah. fiestas what? <laughs> Gus loves a good Fiesta. I'm always excited when I go to Fiesta. <laughs> well, it's true. So, I mean, the reason they did it was because the, the, the cute utes, the crossover SUVs are more profitable, and people want them. So you can't really blame them. So I was driving down the road the other day. Um, I saw this Hyundai Kona. Have you guys seen this thing? I pull up pictures. So it it probably gets a picture up of it. I, it drove past me, and I was like, it's tiny. Like this pic, you can't really tell how small it is. It's little. Like the size of the Focus? Um, well, there's yeah. one more. It's, it's tiny. It's a, it's a little car. That doesn't um, look too bad, though. I mean, they're like mini countrymen's, which I've always yeah. thought were stupid. So I looked, I drove this thing, drove by me. I, what it got me was the, in the rear, if you go back to the rear photo, those little lights in the bottom. It's got the amber and is the. Is it like double? Red. Yeah. I thought that was cool. It kind of resembles, the front end I resembles a new like Cherokee. One. I think that looks terrible. I've maintained for years that. It's not like pretty. On the double lights, what's the deal with that? I don't know. I just think it's just it's just That's interesting. You see the upper blinker, let me throw you one in the bottom. Well, what's <laughs> interesting yeah. is how, Maybe. how small that rear glass is. I wonder if that's a safety thing or just a total design thing. Because that's a big thing with these cute utes is that the crash test safety has gotten so strict that they have to have really thick A pillars. They have to have really thick D pillars to, for front and rear <clears> impacts. Yeah, this is basically a jacked up, you know, wagon. A, a, a small Wait, economy and car. And Hyundai has been killing it the last. Both Hyundai killing and uh, Kia. Yeah. even Kia, yeah. they have been killing it. Uh, is that what it says? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool for some. So it gives me some hope that you know these little. Not that I'm going to be buying any of these, anything in that market. But um, I don't know. I thought Fast it was neat. Four, six Can I get that notarized? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think it was. I thought it was cool. I think that. But this is basically what the future is going to be. Some people are saying that the Ford made that call because they're going to go to the uh, autonomous cars right. quicker, which well, I really, that gives me, like, that, that gives me anxiety. It's got anxiety. Two headlights, too. Huge it does. Anxiety. The top headlight yeah. looks like the. Yeah, yeah it's like a Cherokee. Hog. Cherokee. Cherokee. Yeah, 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 Cherokee, yeah. yeah. And, but then it's got another headlight down below. Yeah. It looks like a Hyundai. Um, I don't hate it. <laughs> Yeah, this is the future. I mean, really. Well, but I think this is probably, is this like a spec model, though? Why are these Lilo's like, so blacked it like a European out? Thing. That's the way it goes. It's, it's supposed to be Euro, like an active. That's why they call it the Kona. This Bushwhacker like, Splur. Um, what does Kona mean yeah. besides that brewery that got sued? Well, there's a bike manufacturer. I mean, it's kind of a name that's, I guess, marketed towards outdoorsy Google. stuff. Google, yeah. Um, cool with it. Yeah. <laughs> Hang loose, bruh. Um, so, all right, other big news um, from Ford. Ford theme show is, it, is the, the Bronco. The that looks like the baby one, bro. But is this a Ford? So I'm this, all right. This image was released by Ford. Okay. As a teaser. Right. 
Okay. All right. So there's lots of rumors, lots of speculation going around about the drivetrain and what how it's going to be, what it's going to compete with. Obviously, they're they're going to be targeting the Wrangler. Um, my first impressions from this photo: one, that desert background is projected, which I'm fine with. But why did they have to use a like fake dirty sheet to cover it? I don't like, know. Maybe that's what well, they had lying around the factory. Because somebody went to art times. school for four years and they're like, oh, yeah. can we make it's this car cover look cooler? Sell it's a market. Focus wagons to guys that come in. It's just like this. No, just like I don't think cover. anybody's going to sit here it's and be like, mindset. they're using a dirty cover? Fuck that. No, it's I want to see the Bronco. It's obviously part of the outdoor yeah, advertising. Sure, but yeah. who gives a shit? So some of the they, rumors have been going around. Um, and I, I, I read a little bit today on it too, just to see, because everybody's all over the fucking place with these things. Like, some are saying, all right, it's based on this. Ford Everest, that's and that's where the mules that have been the seen. One. That's like yeah, Australia, you know, and it's that's like basically you know curvy small SUV, independent front, solid axle rear. It is solid um, rear. What are the current Explorers? They're independent in all four corners, right? Yeah, okay. they're so. I read something today too that said that it's um, only going to be available as a four door. Hmm. Which to this picture really? doesn't look no. to me like. Well, Did you, have you read that there's going to be a full size and a baby size? Lots no. Of them will fare right, so I've heard that there's going to be two. Huh. Yes. I doubt that. Two. Here's what. I, here's my prediction on what we're going to see as far as the Bronco goes. I doubt we're, it as well. We're going to see a four door Bronco. It's going to be have you know the old the, old, the you know, early Bronco styling cues. I, we're going to see an independent. There's no way we're going to see a solid front axle. Uh, we're going to see an independent front end with a solid axle rear. And a couple trim options, you know, diesel and gas, and that's it. Removable top. They said they are Ford. Now, Ford said, Ford Ford said they're, they're not reproducing a Bronco and not pulling top off. They're yeah. just not going to yeah. do it. They're yeah. have to have this. It'd be suicide. They're, they're not, yeah, it's like, what, it's not what a the Bronco. fuck's the point at that point? Why exactly. are we doing this? What yeah. the fuck? I don't want to They're going after well, the, they, if well, they want to go after the. Four-door Broncos are we talking about historically? But I doubt the, I doubt the fourth door is going to be a full door. I bet they it's going to be like a baby, a it's going to be a baby a suicide door, door. Like, like like the FJs or something. Well, and I think a big part of that is insurance, or like crash test safety too on four-door. It's going to be just so you can get into the. It's going to be so you can get into the rear seat without the Wrangler. Yeah, the they, Wrangler with the remote. They can't sell those fast yeah. enough. Yeah. I mean, Jeep can't keep four door Wranglers on the so, lot. So and that's the thing. The JLs? Nobody has come after that market. The the the, the JK and the JL are basically well, supporting Fiat. Well, they tried with the Cruiser and just like completely screwed it up. Yeah, they completely fucked it up. But this the Ford, I, I think, is smart enough to know how to come after the J, the JL. I want to say JK. It's been yeah. so ten years of JK. Well, still, same um, thing. You know, I mean, that so still has a great. The following. Ford, the one of the main, the resale. big players at Ford's that removable top, four door, no two door. That's what they said. I, I think that's odd. I'm thinking um, there's going to be baby doors so you don't have to fold your seat up to let passengers in the back. I don't think you're going to have an actual fourth door. I can see it kind of the Maybe. wheel. Well, think of the, the Cherokees. The it is a small door. The you're wheelbase right. on tradi you know, traditional XJs was the same on the two doors as it was the four door. <clears throat> yeah. It'll be interesting to see you if know, they had a suicide door with a removable top how it would play out. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we're going to see a solid axle well, in the front. I, mean, I think JK's people are crazy. Hard doors <clears throat> with the removable top. Um, but that's a short windshield to short rear. All right, so go to the next picture. This is oh. road and tracks rendering based on that this picture is what we just saw. Is under the yes. Sheet. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's pretty cool. That's pretty close, man. Yeah. Mm, I don't think that's what that we're going to see. But cool. I mean, I don't see how they're going to do a, a four door with I that. I think the pillars but. will be thicker. I, I don't think, I mean, and that's. I don't know. I'd I'd be I think that looks cool. If the tire was on the back too, but it would be cool. Now Here's the next the picture is the Raptor we would all like to uh, jerk off on. Oh God, like that. The Bronco, not the Raptor. Or the Bronco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The that Bronco. makes that sense. Like, why, right like why doesn't that exist? That makes way more this sense. This is the one we'll there. never see. God. Guaranteed, we'll never see that fucker. Someone will build one. I guarantee you they will. Someone will fucking take a yeah. Raptor and Hennessy, rip that maybe. Bitch yeah. and, and they will fucking well, see me. Yeah, you throw it Huh? Maybe That's a sick view. It's, it's just the same. I thing. like that way better than the first one. I do. The I first do one's trying way too hard to be like a '67 Bronco. You're not gonna be there well, anymore. You know what just struck me about this one is this bump in the hood. That's total like. Uh, Land Rover. That's almost like a D series Rover. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing I thought of was that this this thing is probably gonna be more related to a Land Rover than a JK or a JL. Oh, for sure. You know, for sure. I, if if, it's, if we see a solid line, rear though, axle, because it's just because of the body well, line. And, and here's another re here's another thing. Refined. They said they're gonna make some type of hybrid version. So really? um, interesting. That's why another reason. That's another strike in my opinion against um, electric steering. 
because it's, you know it's going to have electric steering. If it's a hybrid, it's got to have electric steering. And th they're not going to do a straight axle. They, like the JL apparently has all this crazy ass steering because the of the start has stop. Electric steering? I think so, yeah. Oh, because um, you, well, hmm. I might be wrong, but I know. Um, a, a buddy of mine told me that they were having a lot of weird issues with the steering. Well, we think, I, we'll think I about think electric steering, I think of an electric rack and pinion or something, but you could easily have an electric motor to a hydraulic pump to a traditional steering box. But would it, yeah, would it four-wheelers four yeah, do when, like they, when they threw of a energy. 60 up front and they just ripped the fucking thing apart <clears> right off the <throat> rip? Well, somebody's going to, if, if, if they come out with the IFS Bronco front, somebody's going to rip the front end out of it quickly. Solid. For sure, yeah. for sure. I'm saying the JL, though, that four-wheeler did. When yeah. They, when they ripped the, you know, they, they, you know, they made it almost like a, like a, uh, an LJ. Yeah. Whatever. They just threw dry, dine tracks up front. What they do when they had to get to the steering issue? Well, it still has a steering. The steering box. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it still has a gearbox. Yeah. It's just electric into the steering gearbox. Yeah. Jesus something. Christ. Yeah. Something. Like, I don't know. Fuck up. We don't know. I mean, somebody please correct us. We're wrong. I haven't been under JL. I don't really know that much about them. Someone sent us a JL. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys It'll go on the lift Further during the show. Needed, yeah. That's what we should do. Throw Someone, actually, if Ford is listening, which you um, probably are, send us a Bronco 2 and we'll let you guys know. A Bronco 2? <laughs> yeah, um, also, ooh, also. I would take a Bronco 2. Anybody wants to send a Bronco 2, I will also What do you say. think of that? that thing, that's sexy, right, guys? I like that a lot. I think that looks fantastic. Yeah. It seems like, I mean, I like the sliding glass on the top as well. Yeah. The sign element on that. That looks really good. Well, neither one of these appear to have any sort of removal roof. Maybe this one does. Well, that one, Where's like, the rendering from Ford that have been coming out? The only thing Ford has released is the the uh, the, the first picture. Mm. Now there was a concept a couple of years ago, yeah. but that that's was what <coughs> that's what Ford released. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, and you know what? Then if that is what Ford released back. and that's based off of the model, well, there's going to be a baby door. There's no way there's a, a fucking fourth door underneath that. I don't think so. There's no way there's a fourth door underneath that. How many times have manufacturers brought concept cars out and how many times has Volkswagen said? Look at this new van again we're coming out with, and then it never happens. Or it's wild. Well, their concept cars versus like pre-production or production is cars is wildly that's, different. That's the question. Is this, this is a like this. Version? This was Ford saying, "Here's the new Bronco," mm. <clears throat> but we're only going to tease it. So years so, ago, not, yeah, not recently. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Now I, I did. I'd give you one more picture of the ranger raptor that uh, for some ridiculous reason isn't going to be available here i don't understand why i think this is the drivetrain we're going to be looking at for the yeah why wouldn't they put that here more chassis. people would buy this if you had a ranger raptor here to come it would be fucked i feel like taco's talking to <coughs> so it comes with a Cummins know, diesel man. engine man that no but it, it comes with a diesel TRD. um a small yeah. four-cylinder diesel with 10 speed really yeah now we're talking um like that, you tell me that wouldn't sell here and, and fuck up taco sales? That would fucking destroy taco sales. Yeah. That's it, why, would, that's it would give him a run. Like I don't know if it would destroy him, but it would give him a run. Oh, for yeah, sure. I think it would give him a run, but because Ford hasn't sold the... I mean, you got to think, Taco's got 20 years of brand loyalty, but no one has ever bought a Toyota Tacoma and been like, I really shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Yeah, true. And so it would it'd be a Well, it's one of the vehicles you can buy and then sell for more money. There's a reason. <laughs> I mean, Chevy tried, Chevy tried with the ZR2 Colorado with the diesel. And guess how many people bought those? Yeah. yeah. None. But at no 48K, who the fuck's buying a damn Chevy Colorado? Is that how much does the R2 buy? Yes, go suck well, a dick. Well, how much is a load of taco? <laughs> I don't know. 48K? It's got to be close to 40. Oh, for easy. The baller ones. <clears throat> easy. Like the TRD Pro you pimp ones. You get a stripper, yeah. maybe, or yeah. 30. Well, I'm I sorry. Last 500,000 miles, still sell for 40 when it's got fucking 400,000 miles on it. Like, cool. Yeah. I'll sign me up. That's a taco. Yeah. 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 No one's doing that with my car. I think this is the drivetrain we're going to be looking at for. This is the Everest platform. <clears throat> this is the Ranger, which. You look like a side by side for the front. <laughs> yeah. Side Super side. aggressive. I love it. I, I, that, I think that's a sick little truck. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens with the Bronco. I'm, I'm really excited about it. You know, hopefully it doesn't get all broed out with the bullshit the SEMA builds right away, but <coughs> it will. Yeah, I'm saying what are you talking about? <laughs> Don't hold your breath, there's, man. There's about twelve or fifteen of those fuckers. It will, but I'd like to. I'd like to get one and, and do some cool shit to it as soon as it hits here. All right. As long as they don't color match the suspension, but they will. Um, all right, so we're moving on to love hate. Oh, all right, goodness. everyone's favorite. This is my love. Um, I've, I've always had a thing for split bumper Camaros. I think this that is, car is just perfect. And this is a second gen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like a 70, 71, I think. Um, awesome. It's badass. And that, that's like, this is like a Man. highly modified pro touring oh, car. Yeah. Obviously. Um, oh my God, look at the exhaust dumps right there. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's, that's sick. Um, my next, the, my hate is that's something a, that. That's an IROC car. 
car. Yeah, that's like a legit road um, race machine. Yeah, when you start putting. Look, it's got a cage in it. Which year? Oh yeah. Thing? You know, it's almost like a Porsche. Seventy rear end or seventy-one, I think. <clears throat> John probably knows. John, when they make the split bump, split bump split Seventy-one and a half split bumper. <laughs> <laughs> John over here, bro. Yeah, I know. Seven and a half. That's awesome. Not fucking seventy-one and two thirds. June the third. June of seventy-one. Yeah. Uh, yeah you know, I think that year and a half. The split bumper Camaro is my personal favorite of yeah, all Camaros. Same body style. They just had the mustache bumper or whatever yeah, yeah, it's yeah. called. Yeah. 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 Sick car. That's a car. Um, my you hate. Know who built this? No, I don't. Just, um, that guy. My hate is this bullshit, where they take these late model Camaros and put these. Trans Am and Firebird front clips on them. I think it's retarded. Yeah, I hate that too. I think it's Is just it like, like a GTO grill, or just like it's supposed to be a Pontiac that was never built, man. Yeah. That's, well, what that's what it's supposed to be like. like. But it's like, like, why would you Pontiac. deface the fucking Firebird that's right the now? The, the Golden Eagle. Like, why are we defacing this bad boy? If you do like a Pontiac. Somewhere, Burt Reynolds is real upset about He's, this. He's, He's happy. Host, no, man. he just released one. Oh, He's like he a Burt Reynolds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Royalties. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Burt Reynolds. He probably has one in the garage. All the way to the bank. I would drive that. You drive it? You would? Hell yeah. I wouldn't. I don't like how the hood has like four. If I'm spending that kind of money on that, I'm gonna find a fucking real one. You're well, probably gonna have this, It's gotta be twenty grand over the car. This is Euro. Look at this taxi. In yeah, the I mean, I know that is just where I got the buy. It doesn't matter. It has t tops. That was made in America. It does have t tops. It does have a t top. That's pretty sick. Uh, that's kind of yeah, yeah. Scotty. That's mel. That's kind of mullet. I like that, but yeah. I I don't like I don't know since the new Camaro out. came out. Uh, uh, yeah, like the since the new Camaros came out, there's been a bunch of these conversions out there, and I just I just think it's cheesy. Can you get one with like a Landu top? Like that's pr you probably could. A I spare tire tires. at the bike. <laughs> <laughs> they never made a Firebird like that. I never made one asking for a Pontiac grill. I'm just, you know. Mm. All, right. All right. So that's, that's me. Got. That's it for me. That's me right there. My love. Suede steering wheels. <laughs> <laughs> I've never driven anything with suede steering wheel. <laughs> What's I'm the benefit? Grip? The benefit is the sensation that you get. It goes throughout your body, man. I don't, but I don't, when I'm driving, I don't want to feel like I'm, I'm holding a robe. Well, that sucks for you. But, but it doesn't get like grunge. I mean, like my, no, I clean my no, steering no. wheel a lot. It, and, like, I feel like you should be wearing gloves when you're when you're got a suede steering wheel. Mm. Wear your leather gloves. I don't need no gloves. I got skin in my hands. The point is to grab it. You yeah, feel it. Like, the really hairs on the suede. Hmm. It's just to me personally, grab a suede steering wheel. It just feels like you want to go fast. Hmm. Have you had a suede steering wheel on anything? Every car I have built. Oh really? That same exact one. Ah okay. And uh, I love it. I really do love it. And if you see like higher end, high performance cars, typically they come with the suede steering wheel. I guess you're right. You know. Get well, what's the difference between suede and no, Alcantara? Well, uh, Alcantara is suede. It's the same thing. That's okay. what it is. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, we'll talk about this personally. We can't deal with these scouts. Um, well, all right. So let's 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 get off topic for a second. Gus has sold the M6. No, it is for sale. No, Hashtag is for sale. Anybody wants a black M6? All right. Six P is really rare. Okay. What is next? For me. On the list. Yeah. Oh man, I have nothing about that because it hasn't sold yet. Yeah, you have. You tell me you haven't no, thought about what's next. I was, I was, I was, I was, I'm over here like eight projects ahead of the game. Yeah, right I know. Now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was I'm on 24, I, I 24 right now. <laughs> I was thinking 550 or M5 V8 huh. twin turbo. Mm. I think that. Oh, would be, late model. Yeah, that would be a good ride. Well, yeah. that's interesting because you also said to me, uh, clean S14 turbo. That would be like a, that, that would be like a, like a plague yeah, around yeah, yeah. car. I think you should get, go wagon. No. I think uh, well, uh, AMG once wagon. Once you get the Volvo, I get it from you. CTSV wagon. That'd be a sick. That's a bad I approve. 100%. <laughs> That's a bad thing. There is one Burgundy CTSV running around. Wagon. Like, a wagon? Yeah, this mom has I this see Burgundy. And I, see oh, oh, I was like, oh my God, that thing looks insane. Oh. The sound. Yeah. You know she didn't choose that car. No, her husband. No, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. You know, honey, I got you. I got you. I, 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 I would never put my wife. Don't sell her short. I would never put. I'm sure they have amazing traction control systems. I would no, never put my wife in a CTSV. Are those all wheel drive? I would drive? just so I can drive it. No, rear wheel. I wouldn't because I knew every every guy every real car head would be drooling all over it. That's fine. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that'd yeah, be cool. I mean, that's how she looks hot in it because, you know, yeah. I mean, it's bad as a badass ride. Yeah. I see and a black CTSV sitting there. Oh, she's going to know what she's driving. Right. She's not going to be like, got Is one. that your buddy? Yeah, it's a new one. Every time I see it, I think, it's not a wagon. 
Oh, I would never buy a sedan no. TTS. Yeah, the yeah, wagon yeah. looks amazing. It really does. Oh, yeah. you got to go to wagon. If there's a wagon option for a high-performance car, you always go wagon. And I think there's two wagon body styles. Are like there, there was no. an early and a later. Wasn't there like a no. body style change at some point? Not in the CTS. I don't, I don't think so. Not in the CTS. No. Huh. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll keep everyone posted and on it. Oh, it's so terrible. Uh, what that's the fuck that's is that? That's my hate. Oh, that's, 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 <laughs> I think it's everybody's fucking hate. What uh, the fuck is if I, that? If, I, if I'm not wrong, those I motorcycle think, tires. The, the style they call it like VIP in Japan. I don't know if it's just in Japan. VIP? Yeah, I that, call that, that, that like ruin your fucking set of tires. It's stance Nation. It's stretched wheels. It's cambered out. Well, it's, that's, I don't know if it's a stance. Well, I want to know is how fast extreme. do you go through a set of tires? Yeah, no shit. The tires have to have. That's why I asked about motorcycle tires. It's got. They got to have a big radius. Five thousand miles. They're done. Tops. Tops. All you need is a cheetah. What's that? The fuck is a cheetah? The fucking air thing we have over there. Oh, the cheetah. Oh. Yeah, for the. Yeah. You can mount whatever tires you want on whatever fourteen wide you want. We're talking shit about this. We've got in our area high schoolers running around with diesel trucks that weigh nine thousand pounds on that same fitment. I sure as fucking hope not. I have not seen one, but hey. I've yeah, been they're idiots. They're All right. <clears throat> What's yeah. next? This is my love. Ah, the new ridge good. lines. I love them too. They are awesome. I love those things. You can get them all wheel drive. Yeah, not a fan. Yes. 280 horsepower. Yep. Ready to tow 5,000 pounds. This is the truck that pulls Pull your lawnmower and your plywood. We get it. Yep, it'll pull how your long, lawnmower. How long, how long, it's got speakers <laughs> in the bed. How long is it bed? For what? Sitting uh, around I don't know the bed fucking. It's, five, it's not a. It's not an eight foot I'll bed. I'll tell you what. So uh, it's um, not a six foot bed either. A neighbor, my girl has one, and I look at the bed is really shallow. Uh, it, it might be well, 20 part inches. Well, of that is, and this is a big drawback of them, is the spare tire is actually accessed through the bed. And so the... Yeah. the That's the, terrible. The yeah. critical point is if you got a load of gravel and you get a flat tire... I love these things. I'll tell you what, I, mean, I, I would really like to get one and, you know, of course, put a two-inch kit on it. And you the, know. the ring seems too small. Those rings. I like yeah. it. I like it because you're right. You know what you said earlier? You throw a set of wheels on it. This is the most... This is as much truck as most people need. This is a Honda Odyssey with a fucking back cut off of it. Which is amazing. Now, to full disclaimer, I would also love a Subaru Baja, which is an Outback. Oh my god! Out. I, would DD if I, I would DD the fuck out of one of these things. Easy, yeah, done. The, the body style looks good because if I don't remember wrong, the, the old <laughs> like it. Honda. Truck, I'm just not. I'm like, not yeah, yeah. The new ones look. Oh, and fun than fact: than this so line, I can't. Way better than the old ones. That line, that bed line, is 100% fake. It's a unibody. That line is 100% oh, yeah, 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 yeah. fabricated yeah, yeah. And so to make it look more like a truck. Is yeah. A unibody, but you know. Cherokees are unibody, and guys beat the piss out of Cherokees. Um, I like these. I really, really like these. I'm a huge fan. I like the yeah. nose. I guess where I'm coming from is for yeah, uh, good just like you're arguing with Steven. I'm a, you know, I've used trucks well, probably more way more than I've just bought a truck just to, to, to just drive, as my DD just to drive around. You know what I mean? I've had a dually yeah. R2500. This is for, this is for somebody who lives in the truck. suburbs who needs to haul a bag yeah, of mulch yeah, 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 and some rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, a lot Shit. different. A lot different. Now, even, a, even a GC who's got guys working for him. I mean, Jet, he's got his work, you know, beater vehicles. Oh, yeah. Unless his guys drive. Every so often, he's got to haul. Pick up some tools you know, some or some materials. Or yeah. Some, yeah, something dirty, an engine block to yeah. take to the shop. I'm a huge fan of those things. I think it's a great right, what's your package hate? option. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Any sort fuck? of loud Bumble interior. Bumblebee Tura over here. <laughs> Good God. Any loud interiors. I'm just like, dude, this is so uh, gaudy. I hate yeah. people with accent on everything. Yeah. yeah it's but it's like PMY, yellow, bro. <laughs> it's just like. Oh, that's it's terrible. So bad. And it's an automatic. And it's a Mustang. Watch out, bystanders. Yeah. Um, it's probably it's a terrible. fucking V6, too. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a V6. Any loud a thousand percent. I don't even like the red backlighting on my aftermarket stereo. Like, if that was just, like, color matched to my factory gauges, I would be so much happier. Well, you do, you do drive a beige car, so. It is beige. Yeah. I agree with this, too. Neil, we're, we're, right, we're spot on on uh, Love Hate this week. Yeah, well, someone say my car's gold. All right, next we got... Boom! Push button, hit, uh, low and high beams, baby. I love that shit. <laughs> Which, spoiler alert, that shit amazing. don't push this button in the willies because you will be horn? stranded with... <laughs> Does it cut the alternator off? battery, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ran the headlights so once quick, in that thing, and it left me... It died at the red light up here. Quick backstory of how I found out about push button... High low beams was... My first car was an 86 CJ7. I went and bought this thing with my father... We were, I think I was 14, maybe 15. 
I was supposed to drive one of said two vehicles back from the Georgia Florida state line with no driver's license. And this thing didn't make it like but 100 miles, or my, my Jeep did. Yeah. Fixed it, drove it, whatever. And I'm about a month into like driving around. This is like the epitome of like when like cars and everything started hitting because I worked on this Jeep, whatever. And I was, I was hanging my buddy. I said, I love this thing, but I fucking bright lighting the shit out of everybody I drive by. I don't know how to change it. She's like, probably got a push button on the floor. I was like, the fuck are you talking Who about? Said that? My buddy's mother. And I looked on the floor and I was like, <laughs> sure as shit does and like it like went to low beams i was like this is the fucking glorious thing since sliced bread like i'm gonna do like i've had a bunch of cars with that i love it yeah. like i almost want to convert every vehicle to push button yeah ben put one in something didn't he in his what was i that? think it's fucking in awesome. his truck but it wasn't the high beams was it it was some it's like a solenoid switch or something um, he did something oh, like we'll have to ask on, him like, he like I added know. one press that turn the key <laughs> no, it's like yeah. battery or something yeah, yeah. it does feel it feels really great good. you know oh yeah Actually, it's just so easy it's like yeah I got you. Hey, I you think that the original switch was burned out. I think we had to call John at CarQuest 30. for another one. <laughs> I think that's an aftermarket CarQuest one. All right, what's, I, I can't wait to see Charlie's hate. Uh, cars spell with a K or a fucking Z. <laughs> I'm impressed you found the two I just don't know what you're trying to go for. Yeah, I'm yeah. not buying a car from you. Hands fucking down. Yeah. Are you going to have the car I've been looking for? Not buying it from you. Not I wonder, like, what the, what the, like, are they trying to be edgy or... That's how it is. <laughs> that's true maybe i mean they trying to be edgy or just trying to be like you know hip like what's well, why because people have been doing this since the 90s it's my i just don't understand it but when i drive by there i'm just like i'm not buying okay, a car from yeah maybe like i don't trust it going for people it. that can't spell yeah you know, um funny Ferris, we have, I see, like, nice, nice used cars for less, less. Um, oh, I can't do it. And they're local. Well, and it would almost no be no justifiable problem. if it was like because you see, and I, we were talking about this the other day. You see, like a uh, uh, like a tire company or yeah, because they want to be in the first. Yeah, 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 like yeah. It's a weird holdover from like ASAP sort of garage doors. But you just went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, no man, I want to be fur I want to be further in the in the and I want to be on the second page. But seriously, who looks things up in the phone book anymore? Well, no, I mean that's a, yeah, nobody. That's int that's pretty funny. Though. Oh, that's a good observation. Yeah. Oh, so believe it or not, well, this, this, this area that we're in, yellow pages work extremely well for certain businesses. Uh, that, really? I still find that still, shocking. It blows me away. Yeah, are, do you listen to the my, my line of business? I get about three. But it will be like calls a year. Of the yellow pages. One a day? Back pages? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, back pages. Never mind. All right. <laughs> so, do we go through everyone's love hate? That's uh, it, bro. That's it. Yeah, we oh, did. shit. We're done. Yeah. All right, well, it's hot as balls out yeah, here. And I'm uh, sweating and it's late. I'm not gonna lie. I'm taking my head off <laughs> three or four yeah, times. I am jumping in the river really on the way home. It's fucking hot. All right, so thanks for watching. Um, Again, like the page, please. Like the wherever you're watching us, YouTube, Facebook. Um, we'll be back in two weeks with episode seven. Like number seven. Yep, and hopefully we'll have the car we've been trying to get here forever. And Gus who knows will probably what else. After seven. Yeah, Gus yeah. is on the. Uh, we're we're uh, dealing Gus with some. Gus gonna make it till nine. We need to start a separate. <laughs> we need to start a separate board over there. How long is Gus? What episodes? Gus. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna make. You know, I'll tell you what. We're gonna find. We're gonna solve Gus's problems. Yeah. We're gonna. You don't. You just sit back and relax. You just chill. We got this. Babysitters. We got this. So um, what? <laughs> yeah. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Um, so, all right. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a good night, and uh, see you soon. Yes, yes. Thank you, everybody. Deuces, Cheers. Salute. Cannot.